solar system, the sun and inner planets. The solar system. There are many planetary systems like ours in the universe, with planets orbiting a host star. Our planetary system is called the solar system, because we use the word solar to describe things related to our star, after the Latin word for sun, solis. Our solar system is made up of a star, the sun, eight planets, 150 moons, a bunch of comets, asteroids and space rocks, ice, and several dwarf planets, such as Pluto. The eight planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Mercury is closest to the Sun Neptune is the farthest. Planets, asteroids, and comets orbit our Sun. They travel around our Sun in a flattened circle called an ellipse. It takes the Earth one year to go around the Sun Mercury goes around the Sun in only 88 days. It takes Pluto, the most famous dwarf planet, 248 years to make one trip around the Sun. Moons orbit planets. Jupiter and Saturn have the most named moons, 53 each. Mercury and Venus don't have any moons. Earth has one. It is the brightest object in our night sky. The Sun, of course, is the brightest object in our daytime sky. It lights up the moon, planets, comets, and asteroids. Sun The Sun is a yellow dwarf star, a hot ball of glowing gases at the heart of our solar system. Its gravity holds the solar system together, keeping everything, from the biggest planets to the smallest particles of debris, in its orbit. The connection and interactions between the Sun and Earth drive the seasons, ocean currents, weather, climate, radiation belts and auroras. Though it is special to us, there are billions of stars like our Sun scattered across the Milky Way galaxy. Roman name, Sol, Greek name, Helios, role in mythology, the god of the sun. The sun has many names in many cultures. The Latin word for sun is sol, which is the main adjective for all things sun-related, solar. Color of the sun. If we were above the atmosphere, say on the International Space Station and looked at the sun, through our filtered visor, the sun would appear white. Why? Because though the sun emits strongest in the green part of the spectrum, it also emits strongly in all the visible colors, red through blue, 400 nanometers to 600 nanometers. Our eyes which have three color cone cell receptors, report to the brain that each color receptor is completely saturated with significant colors being received at all visible wavelengths. Our brains then integrate these signals into a perceived white color. The Sun is a yellow dwarf star, the naming conventions of stars are based on what they appear to look like in our atmosphere, since we didn't have anyone in space when we first started classifying stars. In space, the Sun is white. But when you look at the sky, the Sun looks yellow due to the scattering of the wavelengths as the rays reach Earth's atmosphere. During sunrise and sunset, it appears reddish. Planets there are eight planets in our solar system, these are divided into two types, smaller rocky terrestrial planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars, and large gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. The order from closest to the Sun outwards is, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and finally Neptune. Until 2006 Pluto was also classed as a planet, However it is now classified as a dwarf planet, meeting the first two requirements of the definition but not the third. The most recent definition of a planet was adopted by the International Astronomical Union IAU, in 2006. It says a planet must do three things. 1. It must orbit a star, in our cosmic neighborhood, the Sun, 2. It must be big enough to have enough gravity to force it into a spherical shape, 3. 
It must be big enough that its gravity cleared away any other objects of a similar size near its orbit around the Sun. With the exception of Neptune and Uranus the other six planets can be seen unaided and all eight are visible with a small telescope or binoculars. The largest planet in the solar system is Jupiter, followed by Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Earth, Venus, Mars with the smallest being Mercury. Planet, Mercury. Mercury, the smallest planet in our solar system and nearest to the Sun, is only slightly larger than Earth's moon. From the surface of Mercury, the Sun would appear more than three times as large as it does when viewed from Earth, and the sunlight would be as much as 11 times brighter. Despite its proximity to the Sun, Mercury is not the hottest planet in our solar system, that title belongs to nearby Venus, thanks to its dense atmosphere. But Mercury is the fastest planet, zipping around the Sun every 88 Earth days. At first glance, this tiny rock may look rather dull, but as we've learned, Mercury has a lot to say. Despite how close it is to the Sun, there are places on Mercury that never see sunlight. We know now there is water ice hiding in these shadows. Roman name, Mercury, Greek name, Hermes, role in mythology, messenger of the gods, protector of travelers, thieves, and merchants. Appropriately, Mercury is the winged messenger. The smallest planet in our solar system zips around the sun closer than any other. Mercury completes a full circuit in its orbital relay race every 88 days, at varying speeds around 100,000 miles an hour. This mosaic of images from NASA's Messenger spacecraft shows the impact crater Hokusai, located on Mercury at a latitude of 58 degrees north. The crater has an impressive system of rays, which extend as much as a thousand kilometers, more than 600 miles, across the planet and are the longest that have yet been identified on Mercury. A view of Mercury's cratered southern hemisphere taken by the MESSENGER spacecraft. North is to the top left of the image. Planet, Venus. Venus is the second planet from the Sun and our closest planetary neighbor. Similar in structure and size to Earth, Venus spins slowly in the opposite direction from most planets. Its thick atmosphere traps heat in a runaway greenhouse effect, making it the hottest planet in our solar system with surface temperatures hot enough to melt lead. Glimpses below the clouds reveal volcanoes and deformed mountains. Roman name, Venus, Greek name, Aphrodite, role in mythology, goddess of beauty and sexual desire, Roman mythology, goddess of gardens and fields. Venus has been known since ancient times because it can be seen easily without a telescope. Venus is a landscape of valleys and high mountains dotted with thousands of volcanoes. The terrain in the northern hemisphere of Venus, based on radar data from NASA's Magellan mission. Sapa's Mons is displayed in the center of this computer-generated three-dimensional perspective view of the surface of Venus. Venus versus Earth. Venus has almost the same radius as Earth, however, it spins in the opposite direction compared to Earth. The length of a day at Venus is 5,832 hours compared to 24 hours on Earth. The average temperature on Venus is 462 degrees Celsius 864 degrees Fahrenheit compared to 14 degrees Celsius 57 degrees Fahrenheit on Earth, and the gravity is 91% stronger as Earth. The atmosphere on Venus is composed of carbon dioxide, while oxygen and nitrogen on Earth. The electric field strength on Venus is 10 volts while less than 2 volts on Earth. Planet, Earth. Earth, our home planet, is the third planet from the Sun, and the only place we know of so far that's inhabited by living things. 
While Earth is only the fifth largest planet in the solar system, it is the only world in our solar system with liquid water on the surface. Just slightly larger than nearby Venus, Earth is the biggest of the four planets closest to the Sun, all of which are made of rock and metal. The name Earth is at least 1,000 years old, all of the planets, except for Earth, were named after Greek and Roman gods and goddesses. However, the name Earth is a Germanic word, which simply means, the ground. Earth Profile Blue Marble Earth at Day Black Marble Earth at Night Planet, Mars Mars, the fourth planet from the Sun, is a dusty, cold, desert world with a very thin atmosphere. This dynamic planet has seasons, polar ice caps, extinct volcanoes, canyons and weather. Mars is one of the most explored bodies in our solar system, and it's the only planet where we've sent rovers to roam the alien landscape. NASA missions have found lots of evidence that Mars was much wetter and warmer, with a thicker atmosphere, billions of years ago. Roman name, Mars, Greek name, Ares, role in mythology, god of war. Mars was named by the Romans for their god of war because its reddish color was reminiscent of blood. The Egyptians called it Herdesher, meaning the red one. Even today, it is frequently called the red planet because iron minerals in the Martian dirt oxidize, or rust, causing the surface to look red. Valles Marineris, the Grand Canyon of Mars. This mosaic of Mars is a compilation of images captured by the Viking Orbiter 1. The center of the scene shows the entire Valles Marineris Canyon system, more than 3,000 kilometers long, 600 kilometers wide and 8 kilometers deep, extending from Noctis Labyrinthus, the arcuate system of Graben to the west, to the chaotic terrain to the east. An outline of the United States to show the scale of the Valles Marineris.